What's going on guys, Kaivox here, and it's the holiday season once again. It is upon us, and uh, Noble Collection has released some new collector editions and wands and an umbrella, but they haven't like shipped them yet. But they have shipped the Marauder's Map Collector's Edition, and uh, this is the first thing that I picked up. I've, I have a couple of other wands coming in too. I will be picking up the other uh, collector's edition set as well and Hagrid's wand but they're all kind of coming out at different times so look forward to those videos if they are already out I will put a link in that little eye right over there and then you guys can go check those out if you feel like it I haven't opened this box yet I'm skeptical because um, the Dumbledore's army set the other one that's supposed to be like a paper you know it's supposed to be like a scroll. Uh, I'm not really, I'm not a big fan of the material that it's made out of. It's it's very bulky. This one doesn't feel super heavy. I believe this package is only around seven pounds. So it may be made out of something a little bit different. We're gonna find out. It comes with four wands. Um, I I do have uh, two out of these. I have the, um, I have Lupins and I have uh, Sirius Blacks. Sirius's wand is actually one of is the first wand I ever bought for myself. And um, and uh, Lupin's wand is one of the the ones that I got in the latest batch. And obviously Pettigrew's uh, wand, this is the only way to get it. At, at least as of today, when I recorded this video, it's the only way to get it is in this set. This is a little pricey. Um, this guy comes in at, I believe, 159 US. Um, so for four wands, that's a little pricey because you know normally they're what thirty dollars a piece, hundred and twenty dollars. So you're paying that extra, what thirty, forty dollars. You're paying that extra forty dollars for the display, but you're also not getting the boxes because I don't think I've ever gotten a collector's edition that comes with the boxes. So let's break into this thing and uh, let's see how it is. Uh, let's start off. The packaging is really, really well, really packed well. The box that it came in wasn't damaged or anything. And the the amount of styrofoam that they use, I think will keep your wands and display pretty safe. So that's good, right? That's a start. Um, I also, I, I, I always feel like I need to compare the wands that I already have to the um, the wands that come in the collection because I'm, I'm positive that it's the same wands. Uh, it's exactly the same. They basically just take it off this assembly line, put it in, in this packaging. But um, I know that there will be some of you out there that wanna know if they are the same. So um, I will show you that they are most likely the same. Every wand from Noble Collection, even if it's the same wand, there's always a little bit of variant in the, um, sometimes the, the hues and the, the, the lines. Um, so take that into consideration as well that uh, if you do get two of the same ones, they're not gonna be like exactly, exactly the same. The um, the paint jobs on them will slightly differ a little bit. So let's start with Sirius's wand. It may be hard to tell, but it is slightly different. I believe I got my original one, which is the top one here. You can see the number there, 2014. This one says 2019. You can see that there is a slight difference in color. Um, and a couple of other things that, I mean, obviously these are all pretty much nitpicks, but yeah, it's weird. It's almost, it's almost like it's a new mold. I feel like the new one is a little bit crisper around the edges. Um, again, it's really hard. You guys probably won't ever be able to tell this on camera, but, um, if you look at the edge of the bottom one here, the, the, the more brown one, it's a uh, it's a little bit crisper. Like the edges aren't as rounded. When it comes to the carvings in it, the um the edges aren't as as rounded. You probably probably can't tell. Slight differences. Yeah. Even the uh, even the shape. It's almost like they made a new mold for for this one. Let's check out Lupins now. Lupins I recently got. Okay, so Lupins looks different. So my Lupin wand has a little bit of a like a little notch, like kind of 
knocked out of it right there. You can see on the paint, there's a kind of a little right there. Um, but this one, like, it's a different size almost. Like, the lengths are exactly the same. Yeah, the lengths are the same, but the end here almost looks like it's a different shape. I know most people don't care about that, right? But um, some of you will, even the paint job. This one definitely has more of like a textured look. It's it's smooth, but it has more of like a gr wood grain look to it. This one's a lot more of a flat color. There isn't as much um, going on there. So that's surprising to me. It's a little bit more, um, it's more different than I thought it was gonna be. So I don't have James's wand um, and this, this is a weird wand because it just has a bunch of little spider webs on it. And that's it, which is weird to me. Um, it is also a very, it has a very small taper from, from handle to, to tip. This one also has a slight bow to it. There's a weird bow right here. Um, it's fine, no big deal. Yeah, I'm, I'm just surprised at like how simple this wand is. It doesn't look bad. Um, I definitely reminds me of uh, Cedric's wand where it's just like the pizza, the pizza slices on it. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. I feel like this is like the the worst design out of all of these. It's just like the most boring. It would be really hard though to carve all of those uh, those spider webs on it. I think it would be cooler if all the spider webs kind of connected, right? So if if the pattern went from here all the way into this one, I think that would be pretty cool. It doesn't look bad. The the paint job and stuff doesn't, nothing looks wrong with it. That's good, thank goodness. And then obviously we have one of the weirdest wands and I'm not a big fan of like snake heads or animal heads on things. This looks good. Um, they did a good job with it. I like that the bottom of it doesn't have the, um, doesn't have the, the scales, which are actually just little dimples on it. Um, that's how they got the scale look on it. And then you got the little snake head there. Um, it feels pretty good. I, I, the, the weird swirly thing is weird. Not swirly, wavy, I guess. Wavy pattern is kind of weird. Um, but I'm glad that they finally released this one. Uh, and this was a great idea with the map. It just, you know, the Marauders, it's just, it was, <sighs> nice job, guys. Nice job. Eventually, we'll have everyone's wands. And then everybody will be happy. This is gonna go, obviously, I, I, I have the other displays as well. There's also one up there that you can't see, but it's there, I promise you. That's the uh, Dumbledore's Army. It's my least favorite one, so I don't have it up. This one is definitely gonna go up with those over there. Those are both Fantastic Beast ones. I love those. I actually display my personal wand on that one. <laughs> that was hard. I, I couldn't point, I couldn't figure it out. Figured it out. Right. So now the the thing that we've been, uh, we've been waiting for, which is um, this display. Last night we had something, tonight I'll be guessing, but I don't really have a case. You don't have to mention. You're just like their attention It's written all over your face I don't want to play the quiet time When I'm near you So if you were wondering, um, it's it's surprisingly a lot lighter than, than it, it originally, I originally thought. Okay, and this is weird too on the back. So um, I'm surprised that they did two hangers. What I don't like about this is that it makes it a little bit more difficult to to hang because um, you can you <laughs> you have to do a good job of hanging it. You can also just do like the string across or whatever. Um, that's a possibility. I did do that with the uh, 10 wand set displays. That's how I usually hang those because they have the two holes. I do like that they're th this style though. So this will sit flat on the wall, which is great because some of their displays the uh, Dumbledore's army one uh, isn't like this, you know? So it doesn't sit 
squash. Just a nitpick. Just this, just a little one, just a little baby one. Also, the hangers on it are these straight little nails here with the with the ends. But I do love how nice that looks. One of my favorite things about this is that uh, like their their name tags pop out, like you know they're they're three dimensional, so they actually have depth to them. Um, also, if you the reason I'm doing this is so that you guys know everything about this before you buy it. Um, there are, it's kind of like hollow, partially hollow, I think, in the back. That's how they kept the weight down so that it's not a solid piece of, um, of uh, acrylic or whatever this is made out of. Um, so I think part of the back is hollow. Uh, so if you push down on this, you can see it kind of flexes a little bit. But man, this, this just looks nice on a wall like this, right? Like they should just make like a plaque that you could just hang up like this without the things on them. That would be awesome. I definitely love how this looks. Whenever I display wands like this, I always switch the orientation of like which way the tip is pointing. Um, mostly just because I think it looks cooler than having them all like, you know, focused on one side. This one's a little weird to display because of the way that the, uh, the snake head wants to lay. So I would probably put it like this so that you can show that off and then switch them all around this way. So let's <laughs> just, we got to do this. this. This is gonna bother me. That looks much better. So this guy is definitely gonna be um, in the background from now on because this is awesome. I really wish they just sold this without the name tags on it. Um, it's just a, it's just a beautiful display. I think this is, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I think it's like probably my second favorite display itself, not set of wands. Um, I would still say that my favorites are Fantastic Beast 2 is my favorite. That one right there. And then I would say that this one is my second favorite. Again, for wands, this is my all time favorite. But then display looks wise, I think that this is my second favorite. I also like this one because the wands are displayed in a different orientation than how this one is. We're just so used to seeing the displays always show the wands like, oh, they're like blah, 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 whatever, you know. But that one over there just displays it a little different. It's just, it's just a little bit more unique, you know what I'm saying? Is this worth it? Do I think you should get this? If you don't have any of these wands, it's a no brainer. If you want to start collecting, if this is an, a great, a great Christmas gift for any potter head, right? So anybody that really like, I mean, I would say that that's a better gift over there because there's like more wands and I think it's the same price, but you get five wands instead of four. If it's like a numbers thing that you're going for, you know, I don't know. Dumbledore's army one, I think is the same price. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's also the same price and you get six wands and they're like the big, the big three and then, you know, some of their friends. So maybe that's a better deal. But this one just looks beautiful. Like it's just, look, it's the Marauders map, like, and the Marauders. Like it's just, mm. So that's it guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this somewhat review. If you guys want me to do, uh, maybe when I get the next one, the um, Dark Mark one that just came out as well, but it only comes out, or it, they're only gonna start shipping them at the end of the month. So um, look forward to that if you guys are interested in seeing if that one's any good. Um, and then I may do, at the end of the year, I may do like a big uh, comparison again of all of the current um, wall displays that they have, maybe. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. And then also uh, Hagrid's Wand will be coming out next year. I already pre-ordered it, so look forward to that. And there are also three wands from Fantastic Beasts 2 that they also released. So those are gonna be coming in too. I believe they're also being released at the end of the month, the end of November. So I'll be making those videos as soon as those come in as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, let me know down below if you guys are gonna be picking up your own. I'll put a link in the description to uh, this one and then I'll put a link to the other ones too if I could, uh, if I remember. If I don't, I'm sorry. But I'll put a link down below most likely. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys are picking up any of these and um, if you have any questions about it, I'll leave them in the comments as well. I will try to get back to everyone as uh in a timely manner, all right? I'll do my best to let you guys know 
whatever questions you guys have. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye, bye, bye.